That trailer was lit. Yeah. We got the cool, we guys, guys, what's up? HMK over here once again. We got the Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer. Prevor E3 got a lot of new information. However, one thing at the end has me and a lot of people a lot more troubled. At the end of the trailer, we got Kingdom Hearts 3, more news, more updates this winter. When looking at that, does this mean we're gonna get nothing at E3 this year? It could go one or two ways. That was very unsettling when I saw that. You know, as as great as that trailer was, when I saw that, I was a little bit off put. You know, uh, because Square Enix is not having a conference this year. We're ready to confirm that 2.8 will be playable this year, so maybe they're focusing on that a little bit. And I can see this in one or two ways. One way is that they're confirming to us updates are coming winter. They're not going to be at E3. This is like in a way to let us down gently. They're like, hey guys, Kingdom Hearts 3 updates are coming, and they're coming this winter. However, it's not going to be at E3. So if you guys were expected to be A3, just know it's coming in winter, not E3. We told you, so don't go into E3 expecting news when we let you know that it's coming winter instead. So that's a way to let us down, to confirm with us, to, you know, like, you know, tell us gently, hey, listen, you know. I know a lot of you guys are expecting E3 announcements, and all of us were, but it's coming winter. So don't blame us when nothing shows up because we told you. So that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is that, you know, it says more updates coming this winter. You know, they never really went to E3. Not once that Kingdom Hearts 3 was at E3, they never really once confirmed that Kingdom Hearts 3 was going to be at E3. Kingdom Hearts 3 at 2013 and 2015 were, you know, arguably big surprises for us. All right? So, you know, they would confirm uh, other places like Jump Festa, D23, but they never really confirm E3, you know, just, you know, saving that big morsel of surprise. So, we might get something, a little something, big, little, I don't know, something, of Kingdom Hearts 3 at E3, and then continue to get an update in winter of this year in order to keep that ball rolling, like I said in previous videos. That could be the other way, but I want to be more lenient to the first way in order to not cause a shitstorm. So, Kingdom Hearts 3 may not be at E3 this year. But hey, 2.8 is played by E3 and that trailer we got was pretty kick-ass. No lie, you can't, you can't deny that. So I'm pretty ready for what Kingdom Hearts has to offer at E3, whether if Kingdom Hearts 3 is not going to be at the show. That does disappoint me a bit, but I mean 2.8 was pretty fucking, was, was, a, was a really good offering. But I want to know what you guys think about the supposed news. Do you think Kingdom Hearts 3 will be at E3? Do you think they're skipping E3? Do you think we'll get two updates, one at E3 and one at Winter, or just Winter this year? You know, one Kingdom Hearts 3 update this year, especially at the end of this year, seems kind of, you know, skimpy. But I want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to get the scoop whether Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be there or not. Because I know the Kingdom Hearts team is going to be at E3. And I'm going to bother the shit out of them. So. Guys, until the next video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.